Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're discussing the third basic principle of training that I want to talk about in our How to Write a Workout playlist thing that we got going on here. And this third principle is individuality. And that just means everybody's different. So, you know, in our first video, I kind of talked about how writing programs can be really complicated if you're a trainer and you work with a bunch of different types of people. Like some people have autoimmune diseases. Some people don't sleep very well. Some people are very type A. Some people are naturally lean and muscular. Some people are naturally not. Um, everybody kind of responds to things differently. Everybody requires a different diet, re uh, responds to different exercise reps and everything differently. Um, people just have, you know, skinny frames versus long frames versus uh, stocky frames. All of that stuff comes into play here. And so if you see someone who's really stocky, you're going to know that person's probably going to be really good at getting strong. Like one of some of the strongest people that I've ever met have wrists that are like the, the uh, surface area of a freaking knee. It's crazy. And you think about it and you're like, well, if you're going to put that much force through your body, those joints have to support it somehow and they have to disperse it somehow. And so with my my frail little nerd frame, like my soft tissue is going to buckle. But you give that that type of broad area to somebody who's 360 pounds. And yeah, that's how they can be 360 pounds and live comfortably or kind of comfortably throughout the day. Uh, and that's how they can squat a thousand pounds because they have that surface area to disperse forces. Um, what else? Like you, you'll notice some people I'm training one guy who is naturally very athletic. Um, so he does really good at fitness challenges in general, but he is definitely a type two fiber kind of dude. He is definitely a strength and power type of athlete. And right now he's training for a marathon and he's starting to see like he's really good at doing his trap bar deadlift, especially for being kind of tiny. Um, and his his marathon times are very respectable, um, but he's he's definitely fighting a different battle, right? He, he doesn't have the um, cardiovascular capillarization, blood supply kind of stuff and, and other associated adaptations that just come naturally to some other people like, you know, for example, Lance Armstrong or somebody else who's really good at doing long distance stuff. Um, I think that's it. That's, you know, individuality. Everybody's different. That's how we summarize things. Make sure that if you do end up writing programs, not just for yourself, but for other people as well, make sure you take that into account.